I'm Claudia Catania, and you're listening to Playing On Air. There You Are is by playwright Leslie Evasian. The character of Rosemary is played by Olympia Dukakis. Elizabeth is played by Maria Tucci. The time is the present. We are at an outdoor concert in the early evening. Rosemary approaches a seat in the last row. (sighs) Hello. Hello, Elizabeth. Oh, my. Rosemary. Rosemary. Yes. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. You're in New York? And I've come to the concert. So have I? Yes. There you are. And you, Rosemary? Elizabeth. My goodness. Goodness. Both of us here in the back row. Remarkable. A little breathtaking. Yes, what brings you? I'm visiting Julia, my daughter. Julia, of course. Is she here with you? Oh, she doesn't attend these outdoor events. Well, yes, she does. But she isn't here now. Julia. Julia. Is she married? She is. A nice fellow. I, I don't know how it's going. Children? None. There it is. And your daughter, dear? Yes. She's a politician. Yes, she's a governor. <laughs> of course she is. She's a governor. Did she marry? In, in a fashion. Oh, she's living with someone. She's gay. Lesbian? She's lesbian? She's a lesbian, yes. <laughs> she's with someone. A very pretty woman. She wears hats and carries parasols. <laughs> parasols? Does she twirl them? I'm not sure. She might. <laughs> Good for her. Yes. How are you, Elizabeth? Do you still play your piano? Uh, Yes, I do, and I'm a widow, you know. Yes. Still in Queens. I'm a widow in Queens. I'm a widow in Philadelphia. I've heard. We're widows. Yes. You you think you were a good wife? I think I was. I think he thought I was. Were you? I was impatient um, for little things. The chewing. The chewing. The snoring. Oh, my God. Did you wake him? I did. I hit him. A loose fist, the best fist I had. Oh, that is impatient. Well, aside from that, I was kind. How is your garden, Elizabeth? Oh, the azaleas are in bloom. The azaleas. Oh. Do you remember? I do. Have you spoken of it? No. No one. Have you? I told a young woman who interviewed me for a college project... She was studying memory, she said, in old people. I told her my memory was good. In fact, I thought of myself as sharpism. And then I couldn't remember the word. <laughs> tag. Yes, of course. Sharp as a tag. <laughs> the girl asked for a single memory of mine. I told her I had been a singer and had a dear friend, a pianist, who accompanied me and kissed me one winter night in a garden in France. Look, Elizabeth, what a beautiful evening. Oh, the night. You recall my response when you kissed me? I do. Hmm. Do you? Oh, I recall my hands in my pockets pulling my coat around me. I recall shivering, trying not to shiver. I recalled you in your coat. It had a fur trim. Yours had feathers at the neck and the cuffs. I recall talking as I'm talking now and wondering if you thought me gay, as in charming and clever. Of course. Then I don't recall if you spoke or if I was speaking still or if we were not speaking. And Then your mouth, I recall vividly was warm, and your lips were fleshy. I think it lasted for some time. Were my eyes open? I don't know. What did I do? Did I... Tell me. You stopped shivering. Oh. And your hands stayed in your pockets, but you lifted your head toward me. Did I? You let me see your face. And your lips relaxed by just a fraction and met mine. Our mouths... Rested on each other. We kissed. No question. There's no question. And when we stopped, you bowed your head and the light of the moon caught your face 
and lit you. Then we returned to the hotel and played cards. Canasta! With our husbands. <laughs> yes. I spoke of this to the young college girl, although not in detail. I, I didn't say that we held hands on occasions thereafter, that I was familiar with your hand lotion and used it myself between visits. I didn't mention that we discovered my husband's affair, the professor and the beautician, traveling together to curricular conferences. Did you mention our slow decision, yours and then mine, to stop our singing engagements and our conversations, and that you returned to the marriage. I didn't. And I didn't mention that, aside from a few cards, you and I haven't had contact in 31 One years. When was this conversation with the college girl? I don't know. Years? Months? Months, years. Have you scanned crowds looking for me? Many times. Let me see your hands. No, I keep them in gloves and pockets, Elizabeth. Let me see them. Please, don't ask to look at them. You've bowed your head. I'm looking at my lap. You can see your hands, and you can see mine. All right, then. Our old hands together in your lap. Still soft. Softer? Do you have arthritis? Not at the moment. The garden in France. Were there people? I don't remember people. Just trees. And the ivy in the urns. Oh, dear girl. My goodness. Here we are, face to face. What now? Rest your head on my shoulder. Shall I? For just a moment. All right, then. Yes. The concert. It should start. Yes. You have a good shoulder, Elizabeth. Thank you. Here it is. Yes. Rosemary. Yes? Would you like to travel together? Oh. Paris. Paris. You think so? That was There You Are by Leslie Avazian. Rosemary was played by Olympia Dukakis and Elizabeth by Maria Tucci. Leslie Avazian, the author of There You Are, is here with us today. Thank you so much for coming in to talk about your play on Playing on Air. Leslie, what would you say There You Are is about? For me, the play is about longing and desire and the way women reshape that for themselves, that they don't always let themselves follow a core, basic longing because it's not sanctioned, it will make life difficult, it will hurt others. And so it becomes tabled in the light of what seems like the right thing to do. Does music often play a part in your plays? How conscious were you of the role of music in this play? I really wanted it to be there. I wanted to be I wanted it to have as much of a musical life as it could have because I think that that plays with music are different than musicals, but they they have their own separate integrity and it's so theatrical to be able to have a piece just swell all of a sudden that comes out of what's actually happening and what we listen to in the concert is the music that Rosemary and Elizabeth shared. And so it's also part of their language. And I think when you can incorporate music as language in your play, you really get to go a distance. Rosemary's hands are mentioned a lot Mm -hmm. in this play. Can you tell us a little bit about this? I think it's two things. I think that Rosemary has a vanity, and I think she has a reticence. 
It is Rosemary who chose not to have the relationship. It's Elizabeth who would have chosen to move forward. Rosemary, I think, in the way that she had to be as a performer, had a certain vanity, and her hands were part of that. And also, as much as she sang and performed and lived a certain theatricality and was brave enough to actually pursue her career, she did have reticence. She didn't fully kiss. She kept her hands in her pocket, and she didn't leave her husband. So the hands being disguised and protected is at the core of her. The play is is wonderfully intricate, but it's minimal at the same time. My writing is minimal. I always envy people who write pages and pages and pages and then just edit it away. For me, everything exists in very minimal writing. And, you know, I'll take three words to say something that could be said in five sentences. When you write a play about longing, there's so much you can say. <laughs> you know, it's so deep longing, isn't it? It's been a great pleasure having you. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Claudia. So much. Thank you. Thank you for doing the play. We've been speaking with Leslie Avazian, the author of There You Are. You've been listening to Playing On Air. Associate producer, Michelle O'Brien. Literary manager, Bonnie Antosh. Theme and play music, Tom Kochan. Recording and sound design by John Kilgore. Playing on Air is distributed by PRX. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can visit us at playingonair.org, where you can discover new shorts and interviews with amazing artists. Subscribe to Playing on Air on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. And to help us share great theater with new listeners nationwide, rate and review a show. It's the best way to spread the word. For Playing on Air, I'm your host, Claudia Catania. Thanks for listening. <laughs>